speak is because in fact, do we want North Finch and I to, su to survive and to succeed as town centres? And currently they're not. They're both dying. And I speak on behalf really of my partner traders, but clearly North Finch is well represented here. The fact is the payment around the borough is not even. High Barn is surrounded by London Coney to one side and Whetstone to the other. Both have free parking. We are charged with every single car park. Um, we, do we want advertising revenue for the machines? Yes, good idea. That will generate extra additional income. One of our traders in High Barn has actually volunteered to collect the funds from the meters. So I mean, it could be rethought about and rejigged in order to make it financially viable because the, actually the traders are quite willing to cooperate with the council in, in terms of improving um, parking in the high street. Because our high street is dying. I have a suggestion. I don't know the financial viability of it, but economically it seems to make quite good sense to me. And it's what the traders, businesses and local residents and people who work in the area would like. They would like half an hour free parking. In that way you can keep your 59 metres and maybe you don't even need to bring in the additional metres. After that you charge one pound to make it up to an hour and after that you increase the revenue along the high street and maybe additional in even more in the surrounding car parks to offset and possibly even add in additional revenue for you. That way I see it as a win-win situation. Councillor Cohen men mentioned the increased revenue. I think that's something to do with Mill Hill, because Mill Hill has, I think, a different payment section. I I'm delighted to hear you have additional revenue, but I don't know where they're spending it and who's doing that, because our traders are not seeing additional money coming in. They're having more and more businesses closing down. Do we want High Garnet and Mill Finchie to, to succeed and to survive? Because unless you do something now, they are not going to. We will not have local high streets within our borough. Really, that's all I have to say, but I would like you to consider that half hour free parking, one pound for an hour, and then you can make up the revenue in other ways. There are ways around it. It just means thinking outside of the box. <coughs> well, I have a chat. Does anybody say you want to ask no. any questions? Uh, no, can I, can I, can I, um, yeah, you're, you're sitting there, but you, you weren't sitting before. I'm going to go a few times uh, in High Barnet, um, and last time we met was at uh, Moxon Street Car Park and um, uh, the, yes, yes, the, the, we will be we spoke at uh, Moxon Street Car Park regarding um, having a free period in Moxon Street Car Park and the, um, the what was asked was just give us some free time which is what was given and not only that, the other end of uh, High Barnet, uh, another amount of free time was given. Uh, in fact, two hours free time, uh, just have other elements of things. And, you know, there seems to be some contradictory comments between uh, what Yale's saying and what Mr. Massey is saying. Yes. Um, so, Mr. Massey is representing the residents, and Yale is representing the traders. Mr. Massey is representing well, that, that, that's <laughs> the self appointed. He's not representing the Mr. Massey. Mr. Massey is the chairman of the Barnet Residents Association. He didn't and consult the residents because I'm one of them. The, 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 <laughs> right, so, so basically it says here that the major changes to pricing in the council run town run has significantly increased in usage, particularly so now the council parking is cheaper than the private provision. Might I, might I say, if I did go around uh, the council code and board Massey to the car park, my, at that time I said the same as I'm saying now, Mr. Massey and the council code went off and have offered this free parking in Moxon Street, which is at the bottom of a hill. It's impossible for the elderly, the old, the infirm, young mums to walk up a hill for, for, to walk. And the other car park is at the other end of the town. Quite frankly, it's the high street that we need people to come to. Quite frankly, it's the high street where we need free time. There's free parking in Whetstone, there's free parking in Finchton Central, there's free parking in London, Coney and other surrounding shopping centres. We want it on our high street. There's no point in being in Moxon Street and at the other end. We need it where the shops are. Uh, can I come in on that? Uh, just a bit of context. There's 19 spaces in a, a high, bonnet, a high street. Exactly. Or, uh, uh, 19. Uh, 19 spaces. Whenever I've gone there, I 
can't find space for love or money. Because people are using it. People are using it all the time. But don't you see? It's all about public. It's about encouraging people, if intellectually, emotionally, to think out, to think, to believe that you're cuddling them and kissing them and offering them. Sure, sure. Not doing things like that. It's not true. It's it's not true. true. You want, to, you want to pay cash for that, I think, yeah. I'm sorry, I can tell you, it's about perception, it's how you communicate with people. If people think they're getting something for free and that there's a possibility, then they will go. When they think they're going to have to pay and they find it struggle, then they won't. And they haven't. And they're voting with their feet and they're not shopping anymore. All right. Look, uh, it's very interesting to hear this. And it's very good. Um, uh, it's kind of now repeating itself. You, you, the, the, the view that has been expressed this evening by those members of the public who came along the trailers in, in May uh, is it, very really strongly in one way in favour of this. You've actually brought in some other ideas, and it could be, again, I'm just, just thinking aloud, and only for another half a minute or so, that other ideas, it may be that some of the problems have been identified in, in, in Finchley and possibly in, in, in Barney, in particular in this could be addressed in other ways. I'm not suggesting cash machines can't be introduced. That's something we're going to look at. That's our main purpose. But there could be other things that will come from this task and finish with other ideas that may be possibly implementable, which could be suggested, you know, out of the box, but which may, may help. So uh, you, you brought a few thoughts in there. It may be. Um, but that's, you know, to be considered. All right. Uh, and any particular question, I, I, I risk of repeating ourselves, it is now just about nine o'clock, but almost. You know, I think. Uh, Mrs. Mason has uh, had an opportunity. Any particular new points for her? No. Okay, let's do it. Thank you very much.